Cadillac Quinn, y'all hear me knocking, well let me in, so y'all can see you too, I just uh, gloss cleared this, my brand new intake manifold, Performer RPM Metal Brock, uh, reason being why high temp cleared it, is because when it's raw aluminum, like that, you touch it one time with like an oily piece you're working on, you get one oil print on it, it'll take forever and a day trying to scrub it off. So what I did before, I, as soon as I took it out the boxes, I clear coated it. So I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, the only flaw in when you clear coat it is a lot of people complain about the foggy look that it gives to it. But I'd rather have a foggy look than a oily, dirty intake manifold. Uh, what I didn't spend over like $400 for. So as y'all can see, I taped everything what I didn't want clear on. I even had them in like the the holes or whatever, the screw holes, little pieces of tape. Almost like this one right here. Take that off before it dries. Cause those are where screw bolts go. I even taped the whole side, made sure no uh, tape will get on there. Matter of fact, let me untape that. That's one my uh heater hose valve pipe but yeah YouTube so this is what I did to prevent from getting oil stains a lot of people that complain about it look foggy I rather deal with the fogginess and the clean intake manifold if I ever get oil on it and it's clear coated gloss clear if I ever get an oil print on it I can just wipe it off because it's had it has a protection coat on it. so yeah YouTube that's what I got going on with the intake manifold so that way once i get started I'm going in y'all so i'm probably finna get ready to start doing that to project bob real soon sooner than what y'all think so we can be ready for the summer i can take that 30 pound factory cast iron intake manifold stock plain jane with um emission controls like egr valve on it and all that see if y'all look at this intake manifold it's already a delete on it uh, on both sides so yeah this is supposed to be for more performance and like i say y'all know i already have the edelbrock carburetor out the mark performance so yeah man yeah i kept those in there because i got new edelbrock ones those was just a cheap brand show y'all my edelbrock setup i have for it yeah so those are actually my edelbrock pipe plugs which is which are those those are just an off-brand name so i just used to keep all the threads closed off so when I put the new Edelbrock ones on, and they all fit. Let me take this little piece of tape up out of that thread. So when it dries, you know, of course I didn't get, it's gonna be little imperfections, but the main part of it is I got majority of it all gloss clear or whatnot. So yeah, YouTube, that's what we got going on, man. Hopefully this thing will be on. We're trying to get it on either before June Y'all know it's almost the end of end of uh, May, so we're gonna try to get it on either here shortly or sometime at the beginning of June. But well, yeah, YouTube is is definitely time. We're gonna get that knocked out, and that's what we got going on for the intake manifold. The weather's so ugly outside. I had to spray it outside, let it dry a little bit, then bring it inside and put it up on the fan. So as y'all can see, that's why I got the fan going on with it. Oh, I also got my new uh, electric fans in. Show y'all those. So as y'all can see, I got the new electric fans right here. 12 volts, 90 watts versus my old ones. My old ones, they didn't have enough. Uh, it even came with a double probe for both fans. The first one I bought, it had one on it. And of the first fans came with a three core radiator cheap china so these right here are american i can't remember the name of them but they supposedly have 4000 cfm with fins when you're doing fins you want to go by the cfm in it or whatnot y'all so my original ones they was like under like 2500 when you got a va you want to have 2500 cfm or better so yeah those are both fins I'm not gonna install them until I do the intake manifold, so that's why they're not in yet. 
I also have to do the shift shaft seal, which is this and this, and that's on the shift linkage on the transmission. It's leaking now, so I have those. So that'll be going in too as well. But yeah, YouTube, y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Jump off in that inbox, man, and tell me what y'all think. Uh, y'all stay tuned. We almost at a thousand subscribers. We gonna stay pushing. KQ Custom, Project B.O.B. is going down, YouTube, over and out.